Everyone on the replay, yeah. This live isn't isn't public. <laughs> Here we go. Let's start a watch party. We'll start a watch party while we're at it. Oh gosh, I hope I hope that's worked. And then, seeing as we're here, we may as well share it on the event group. Right, we'll share this on the event on the event group. In fact, no, we'll go back and we'll just share. Um, how's it going, guys? There's not anyone there. There's not anyone there. I've been playing for like a few minutes and realised it wasn't it wasn't public. So, is there anyone there? Kimmy Ross. Oh, I've got nine people. Okay, let's do this. Hi, Christian. Krishna, 
and sisters. How's it all going out there, beloveds? Who's this Brian Foley that's just commented? I don't know him. Is he a benevolent force? Last time we had a Brian that trolled this um, live um, thing that I'm doing. So anyway, keep an eye on you. Harry Rama, have a banana. So namaste brothers and sisters, how is it all going out there? Um, I think I've got to try and turn off some of these distractions, I think that would be beneficial. And um, sort of like really concentrate on making this video. And um, you know, the reason why I feel inspired to make this video is because I just wanted to share with everyone some insights that I've been really, really important uh, insights that I've been receiving um, about particularly with regards to this sacred dance of the masculine and the feminine and I just wanted to make a video just because it's so game-changing like my downloads that I've been receiving and I just think now's a great time to you know remind because this is like you know it's kind of like obvious but somehow the conditioning it kind of like you know it, it blocks that, it blocks that remembrance, you know. So what I wanted to speak to everyone about is like this whole idea about boundaries. Like, I don't know, at the beginning of the year, one, one sister said, oh, you know, what is, your, what is your word for 2019? And straight away, my word was boundaries. And then everyone was saying all different things and that, and every, it's all beautiful, it's all perfect, whatever. But the reason why I, I put boundaries was because I realized that I had this massive, massive realization about my own journey, like with my own twin soul, whereby I've been the very typical, like awakened 5D conscious, spiritual, divine feminine twin, like where there's no more veil and like, you know, I'm, I, I can see the truth of our, our true love. And he's been playing out that role of really, really deeply, deeply sort of entrenched in the matrix with all of its kind of like trappings you know so we've been playing out this kind of dance and he's been in a karmic relationship and I've sort of like known about about the truth of, of, of our union and stuff like that but what I realized um, was that you know up until I had this experience I mean I've been writing about this in my energy reports so but it was this experience of like 
and, and it was a collect it happened within the collective and and suddenly it was like all of these timelines collapsed whereby they're even like really really awakened feminines were sort of like still entrenched to, to, to these old ideas of dependency and stuff like that of of like needing to be with the masculine like to completely and utterly be successful with your spiritual mission i mean that was my major issue i still had this belief that I had to be in physical union with my twin in order for me to be absolutely 100% fully, fully, fully on my mission. And that is the only thing that drives me. The only thing that drives me is, is to be on my mission. And I had this unconscious like association that my true mission was like was, was, was to be in union with him. And what I realised was that that was keeping me unconsciously like sort of like tethered in a, in, in a fear, in a lack vibration. Do you know what I mean because and it made me sort of like you know not have really really super super firm boundaries as the divine feminine um, with regards to his vibration and what is acceptable for him and his vibration to um, you know to come to, to me as the, as his divine sacred feminine and so there, there was a lot of like you know there was a lot of lack of boundaries from my own self prior to this massive collective timeline um, collapse for the, within the collective divine feminine when suddenly there was like this on mass awakening and we were like oh my god like we're, we're good we're, we're absolutely amazing we are rocking it we are rocking it big time on mama gaia you know and whether our divine masculine is with us or not is irrelevant to the fact that we are showing up if 100 percent in our mission and, and and a lot of the divine feminines you know I mean, I speak for myself, but I, I, I had this really, really, really profound experience of like all of these like very, very low timelines that I wasn't even necessarily conscious aware, consciously aware of. I just felt them all collapse. It's sort of like this old toxicity just completely collapsed. And, and within that is like a rising of the divine feminine, like the true divine feminine. And, and now it's like I've, I've awoken to the, to the truth that, you know, Unless my divine masculine can come towards me in recognition that I am his divine feminine and in, in absolute full pranam, full, full devotion as I would be to him in that recognition of the divine Christed being that is within him, unless he can come to me with that vibration, he's not actually allowed into my, nor, nor is any other masculine for that matter, but, or, 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 you know, sacred intimate partner, you know, but basically I've had to set my boundaries and the really big massive realization that I wanted to share with everyone was that my divine masculine loves me so much as all of our divine masculine they, we all we're all love so 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 oh my god so deeply by our by our counterparts that they need us to have access these codes of remembrance of our true worth of the fact that it's very very essential that we um you know that we've set forth these boundaries because I realised that my divine masculine want, wanted, like, he wants to come to me, um, you know, in recognition and devotion, but because my boundaries were, like, really sort of, like, unclear, like, you know, he could get away with, 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 with not that, do you know what I mean? So I just wanted to make this video just to say that, like, I've realised that, like, oh, yeah, I've just had this massive realisation in all these areas in my life where I haven't been setting really super clear boundaries. And then the miracles that ensue when you do start setting boundaries. Because what I've noticed is almost like those boundaries are the command that the universe was waiting for. You know, because the, the universe is totally aligned with your prayers and your heart's desire. But you have to, you have to totally, totally be able to match that frequency. So I realised now I wasn't matching that frequency whereby my beloved, where, because I, I didn't have boundaries for my beloved, for, do you know what I mean? He could have come to me and I would have taken anything. I'd be like, oh yeah, a crumb or whatever, you know. So um, are we getting the picture, guys? So I'm just sharing with you my own personal journey and I'm, I'm hoping it will inspire you because I noticed then as soon as I went, boof, like, you know, right, here we go, universe, boundaries, then all of a sudden, like a miracle, these brand new different divine masculines suddenly manifested in my reality who were like wanting to serve me, showing up going, how can I serve you? You are a goddess, how can I serve you? 
and it was just, I just thought it was really, really miraculous. It's like once you, it, like how it makes the universe and how all the molecules configure, how it makes them all transform when we set our, our clear boundaries of what is and, and not acceptable. Um, yeah, so that, that's it really. What, what does everyone reckon? I mean, I know James Ridener keeps saying it's a good day to be alive. Has anyone else got any comments? Has anyone got any comments? Like, are we getting this, guys? Ryan McCarthy, what do you reckon, bruv? So I wanted to make that video just to just to keep us all inspired about this this like reality of like when we actually create boundaries, um, like like shit happens. Like where shit wasn't happening, like shit starts to happen. That's all I'm saying on the matter. Take it as you will. Um, I also wanted to pull a few cards about, um, well we know sort of a lot what's going on with the collective masculine and feminine energies at the moment, because um, we know that the, that the divine feminine has really, really, really deeply, massively detached and let go on a complete fundamental level, on a collective level as well. So we know that that has happened and we know that that is the game changer because we know that with the divine feminine like hovering around in, th in the 3D, trying to, you know, keep him, keeping on visiting the masculine in the 3D, trying to awaken him, it just, it just wasn't really working. And in a way, the analogy of that is like, you can't crack an egg. Like if you crack an egg from externally, like it will, it will die. Do you know what I mean? The, the egg has to crack from within. And so now, I so said previously before this timeline collapsed, the divine feminine was like, kind of like, you know, like, oh, oh, just, yeah, being very, very energetically overburdening um, to the divine masculine. And it, it, it was just not the right conditions to birth the union, basically. And so the divine feminine has had to like, psh, you know, step back now because he has to awaken or she, whoever he, it is, they have to awaken within their own self. Like, you know, for many, many of us that have been on this journey and that particularly on this wave of, of unions of 2019, we've done the work and our twins know who, who we are, you know. So, um, so yeah, so let's just see if there's any more other insights that want to come through the cards. And I'll pull, I'll initially pull three cards. I've got a few clarifiers as well, um, decks for clarifiers as well. So let's just see, have a little play and we'll just see what, what wants to come through. So I'll pull one card. So let's all just like focus. Um, oh Mandy, bless you darling. Let's all get, uh, let's all just focus on these cards because whoever's watching, it's amazing we've only got 19 people. Like surely we can do better than that guys, come on. Like can we share this video? Like let's share this video. This is gonna be an epic reading for like so many people. Like which, okay, I'll, I'll share it to Twin Soul Journey. I'll just say, okay. Yeah, just share it guys. Let's, let's get more than like 19 people on the call. We can do this. This is a big message. So we're gonna pull one for the Divine Masculine, one for the Divine Feminine, and one for the Divine Union. We also will pull a card to do with the Cosmic uh, Solar Flash event. Oh, bottom of the pack, favourite card, harmony. So we've got the energy of harmony, harmony, that is watching over this um, reading and this current energetic gateway. And yeah, I just want to also say the importance of the 3-3 three, three. and what I've been actually shown about the significance of the 3-3 three, three is that the ascension energetics have been building exponentially in waves and gatherings of more and more souls coming together on these portal dates. And that is activating a, a collapsing of all of the old cabal, iconic timelines are just, they cannot withstand any of this, this, this rising Christ consciousness that is absolutely like sweeping Gaia right now. And so we are on the, on the cusp of another very, very, very important gathering, which is the 3-3. Three, three. And I believe that this card is related to this, the harmony of this particular gateway. Um, actually what I've been shown by, um, by my spirit team about like this really 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 is a game changer for the collective in terms of really really deeply going going on a very 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 deep level to activate a, a collective shift that is going to be seen and recognizable 
and it's really really important that we talk about the fact that on the 2-2 we, we did this at full power ceremony of like bringing back loads and loads of like species that were extinct and then all of a sudden like every single article every other article on Facebook about a new a new species has been discovered so uh, it, who knows uh, we'll never know until we leave our bodies we'll never know if that, that correlation is true but I just think isn't it interesting that before the 2-2 I never saw one single article about about like that the, you know an animal had been discovered but then suddenly it's like a prolific number so this really really works brothers and sisters and I'm really really hoping deeply praying that you hear the call and come forward to be part of the 3-3 transmission on um, Sunday at 11 11 a.m pacific time which is 11 minutes past 7 UK time so we've got the energy of harmony watching over this now we're going to pull three cards this is totally and utterly connected to this 3-3 portal and all this magic and transformational shifts that are absolutely 100% predestined to take place within the collective consciousness. I don't say things like this, brothers and sisters. I'm not, I don't go out sort of like preaching big things about, about I'm, I'm, I'm just not like that. I'm low key. But I really, really have been shown that big things are going on. Like, like no jokes here. Like this March, game changer. Like how last March was game changer, game changer. This this March, game changer. Equinox energies, game changer. We all know that. So um, so this three three gateway is intricately connected to this intense influx of Christ energies that are pouring into Gaia at the moment, and that we are anchoring as the awakened galactic light tribe. So we'll pull one card for the Divine Masculine, and that is Accelerated Motion. Well, thank God for that. Holy be Jesus, thank God for that. They've been beyond snails. They've been like, they've been like interdimensional, the slowest snails that have ever existed. But now, things are shifting. Accelerated Motion, I'm so happy. That's a really, really, really positive sign. So, okay, we'll, we'll just put, wait that, put that there for a second. Um, the second card that I'm going to pause for the Divine Feminine, we're going to go back to that. And that is Material Harvest. Fascinating. And the union is Shadow. Love it. Absolutely love it. Woo. Right, so for the Divine Masculine, we have the accelerated motion. So what I've been receiving is that there is, an, there is a wave of Divine Masculines that are about to awaken, particularly in this March Gateway leading up to the Equinox. And so with particularly this wave of Divine Masculines, their asses, excuse me for swearing, but are getting absolutely whooped by the universe right now in terms of number sequences, uh, synchronicities, eh, eh, like 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 oh my god i'm not living on the earth sort of experiences like like really really super galactic experiences that that really do not make any sense to your rational mind apart from the absolute 100 percent proof that you are being guided and you need to take you need to respect that guidance that because do you see what i'm saying there's like a shouting going on with, with the divine masculines right now um and this is this is what is activating this accelerated motion is um, is the fact that they've been very, very, you know, they've been very afraid, basically. A lot of the collective divine masculine have, have given up on true love, and so they've got themselves pretty hooked into the matrix as, 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 as a sort of whole, collectively. So there, there needs to be this intense energy going on with regards to the, a number of synchronicities and like literally otherworldly experiences that many many of them are experiencing right now and it could even be galactic visitations definitely in the dream time definitely like big big things going on in the dream time for the divine masculine particularly with their divine feminines and they're going on all sorts of journeys to all sorts of realms 12th dimension shambhala you know the, the works it's, it's all happening and they're waking up going oh my god i'm married like what what am i doing with this woman oh my god why wasn't i flying with her <laughs> and it's like every night they're dreaming about their divine feminine <laughs> it's just a joke it's a joke so this is what i'm saying their their their, their booties are getting whooped Okie dokie, that's the Divine Masculine. We will pull a clarifying card for that after, but we'll just give a little bit of energy to this card for the Divine Feminines, which is Material Harvest. Okay. Okay, so the energy is really, really supporting Divine Feminines um, aligning now with their Dharma. 
So, if you are listening to this and you are pursuing a career that is not in alignment for you, then you are being given a message right now that you will never ever achieve the abundance that you came here to experience unless your heart and soul is happy and fulfilled every single day in showing up to work, like that your work is not even work, it's just play. So uh, the, the first issue is for a lot of Divine Feminines, you have to sort of like really, really question and prioritise now um, what is going on with, with your actual Dharma, like what, what is it the work that you incarnated to do and, and start taking actions towards that. And if you do, you will be rewarded. You will be so deeply, deeply rewarded. Like, but you won't be rewarded if you if you like if you're working in a bank and you absolutely hate it and your vibration's really low all day. Do you know what I mean? Like, so see, this is what I'm saying. How this is related to this card, which is called Material Harvest. So it's like you can only align with your Material Harvest when you're coming from your heart and your passion. So divine feminines, what the energies are really, really deeply supporting you right now to um, follow your Dharma. So. We will pull a clarifying card for that because we want to know, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So relate, this relates to the twin soul journey as well because now collectively the, 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 the divine feminines are really, really awakening as the true goddesses that they incarnated to be, you know, and that is, that is one who has remembered her value, has remembered her worth, and has, has remembered the importance of setting boundaries, and unless any, if she's intimate with anyone, they, they must approach her in, um, with devotion and respect and reverence, as she will always to them in full recognition of the divine Christed being that, that is within that, her beloved. And so, this is this is the material wealth like all of these old timelines they're very very toxic they were keeping the collective feminine really really enslaved enslaved to the matrix because a lot of us you know a lot of us in whatever it's all everyone had their own personal things going on and, and probably like very very complex and multi-layered but anyway those very 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 dark toxic timelines have now entirely collapsed and this is what this card is referring to that that it's time for the material wealth because the a lot of the feminines are experiencing spiritual wealth at the moment because there's like a there's like a rising they're like oh my god i didn't set my boundaries like that's why i never got what i what i was praying for because i wasn't at the vibration to receive it because because what what wants to come to me is reverence and devotion and recognition but if i'm there going oh i'll just i'll take anything i'll take a phone call i'll take a text <laughs> do you know what i mean then then that that energy i'm not matching that energy so this is this is not just me this is happening on such a massive level with so many divine feminines that i'm in contact with and this is why even though this is personal i'm sharing it because this is a huge uprising happening within the divine feminine right now and it is I've never experienced anything like it energetically and I've definitely never experienced anything like it within myself because I think on my own personal ascension journey I've done so much in terms of untethering myself from the matrix, done really really well at that but there was some old programming around this this union with, with, with the masculine that, that made me hooked into believing that I needed that. And the truth of the matter is, I do not need that. Do I, do I, look, like, do I look like I need that? Like, no, no, because that, that's the truth. I actually don't need that. Like, for me to show up in my mission, 100% in my mission, like, I do not physically need to be with my masculine. And that's huge. And so now there's, there's no more fear. Do you know what I mean? And so this is, there's a lot of harvest going on within the Divine Feminine. Yeah, this is a big message, guys. It's a shame we've only got 24 people on the call. But it's a big message, isn't it? You know, so the Divine Feminine is like, she, she's risen, she's rising, and she's remembering that, the, that her, her beloved, her true beloved, not these fake whatevers, like her true beloved wants her to set her boundaries needs her to set her boundaries because that vibra that sacred vibration can only come in on on that level and then then things can happen very fast very 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 fast that's what i'm experiencing but it gets to a point where you don't care you're like oh, i don't i don't care like 
There is no time. Yeah, there is no, because like ultimately it's that back to that place of like, you know, there's, there is no time. There's no place where you're in separation from, from you know, from your beloved. And that, and that is the, 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 the funny, ironic thing, I think, for a lot of us, that once you detach, then all of a sudden there, your 5D connection gets so, goes to the next level. You know. Anyway, right, so um, we'll pull a clarifying card. In fact, I'm going to pull an angel card for this material harvest. So I've got the angel cards. I've been working with the angel cards since I was about 18. 18? That's like, that's like, well, I'm 45. What's 18 minus 45? I don't know. That's a lot of years. 33 years? I, I, I guess. Right, so we'll, put, we'll, put, we'll pick an angel card. This is a clarifying card for, for this material abundance, joy. So the message of this card is that very, very, very important now for the divine feminines to focus on that which gives them joy. What is it that gives you bliss? What is it that excites you? Start making plans. Start whatever it is that, that it, it gets your juices flowing, whether that's art, creativity, pottery. For some, it, it will be even shopping and your style and image and whatever it is, start focusing on that. For myself, it was like definitely getting getting a van, getting a camper van, getting it all converted, like go, go planning amazing adventures. Like, you know, do you see what I mean? So the card we pulled is joy. So this is a really important message for the divine feminines and also the divine masculines as well. But it's, very, it's important for, the divine, for, for, for both, for all of us to remember that in order to attract our divine beloved, we need to be focused on ourselves. We need to be focused on our own passions. Because that is when we emit that fragrance like the flower like the flower when you're totally totally at one and in your element like you know doing whatever it is whether that's you're a dancer whether that's whether you're a musician because for so many of us on the twin soul journey it's so because your twin soul is within you it can be so all consuming that it just completely like completely takes over you in all sorts of ways you know because it's within you so it's really really important that we have this um reminder that like it if you really want to attract that your divine counterpart like focus on that which brings you joy like and really really make a commitment to that all of us i'm, I'm going to do that i'm doing that right i'm just going to pull an, um, a clarifying card for accelerated motion for the divine masculines oh truth oh truth so yeah truth um so this is whatever the message that we said about that that's like confirming that is the truth that their, their bottoms are getting whooped like there's no tomorrow. And um, they're all, loads of them are gonna wake up now. There's no more messing around. Oh God, I just spilled my drink. Tiny bit. Anyway, so, right. So that was the truth. The truth was shared in that, that's good to know. That is good to know. Quite a few there now. Ooh, just went a bit crazy. Okay, so we're going to pull a clarifying card for the, um, wow, love this card. This is the shadow. Okay, we're, we're just going to read that now. So the shadow, so basically, it's always important for us to do the shadow work and for us to recognise and appreciate those, those triggers that we meet along our path, that show us those unhealed pl places within us that are calling out for us, for, for, are calling out, they're like wounded childlike aspects that are calling out for the parent higher self that is you. So every time that, that you get triggered, it's a really, really amazing gift for you to do some restoration and very, very profound healing and transformation between your wounded child self and your, your parent higher self. So it's always, always a gift because obviously incarnating into the third dimension, like we've all been riddled with, um, with, with, with shadow aspects, like you, like that is just part of the, the, this, this matrix. So how we, um, how, and yeah, so how we 
ascend, ultimately how we ascend, is that, you know, I mean, God, I've done so much work with this, but you basically, you meet that part, whatever it is, whether it's lack of self-worth or feeling rejected or abandonment, all these different aspects, you you call them up and then you, you stand underneath them and you, you hear them, you listen to them, you listen to them and then they have a story, they're an aspect of yourself that has a story and really they don't need anything, they just need to be acknowledged and heard. So this is a wonderful opportunity for us to speak about the importance of shadow work because while whilst we are incarnated into this matrix, this is an absolute inevitability that, that, that there is uh, we are all completely and utterly riddled with shadow aspects that need to be brought home to the light and so um, if, you, if you really really want to genuinely fast track your ascension path then you will you will celebrate shadow work it's the best work it, it raises your vibration faster than any other work so I love it I love a bit of shadow work it's, it's, it's absolutely like there's nothing you, you, know, you can't beat it so I'll pull a clarifying card. So I mean, I guess what it's saying for the for the for the twins is that you know it's very. I think it's a lot harder for the divine masculine to really really do that work with 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 his with his parental self. Um, so I'm getting a feeling that oh, I don't know. No, I don't think the, I don't think the divine feminine is meant to intervene. Let's just pull a clarifying card for shadow. Like, how does this? relate to the twin soul divine counterpart journey freedom okay okay so maybe this is referred to the fact that we've just cleared loads and loads and loads of residues of shadow from the collective twin soul sort of cauldron and our own own sort of personal twin soul cauldron i know i have I have 100% and it's now like game changer, proper, proper game changer. And so um, I think that maybe this card is referring to having done this work and, and met those aspects in this, in this recent gateway, because what I feel now is the most profound, amazing experience of freedom. And a lot of divine feminines are feeling that just like, just so free, like we've been liberated. I feel like I've been liberated. Like I'm not, like there literally is literally no more waiting. Like even though I wasn't conscious that I was waiting, there was an element of like unconsciously waiting to be with my masculine that is now completely and utterly gone. And I know for a fact I'm free. Like, or, or, or the truth of my freedom has been revealed to me on a, a brand new vibrational level because I've been set free from programs that I wasn't even aware that they were that, that, that I was tethered to those programs you know so it's all fascinating really okay so I think what we'll do um, we'll pull one of these cards for a journey of love love these cards they're very very beautiful um, we'll just we'll just see what comes out of this and um, it's always a blessing. Oh, is that, is that one? Oh, coming together. Wow. Wow. Coming together. That's really, really, really confirmative about the energies that we're speaking about here. That this letting go has actually freed us and liberated us so that now we can attract that love because that love is such an extraordinarily high vibration which we are now matching and this is what is bringing this energy of coming together do you know what I'm saying oh and it's 66 I've seen 66 about 10 times today literally every card that's in front of me is like 66 66 66 66 I'm having a laugh 66 there we go Right, so I'm going to just read it because what she, the way she writes is very, very um, healing. You and another soul are coming into each other's worlds. It is a destiny that is unfolding, an expression of a divine plan set in motion many lifetimes ago. That destiny may have a romantic purpose, it may have a sacredness that is sexual. It may have a sacredness that is creative, tender about learning, self-esteem or courage. It may bring a gift of enduring friendship and loyalty or be an expression 
of a passing flash of divine force that shakes your foundation and helps move you out of a situation which would have consumed your light with tediousness and playing small. The coming together is happening, however, no, it is of love. Can you believe this, guys? Look, it's number 66. This oracle brings guidance. You are going to be moved by love. <laughs> you can't make it up, can you? God. <laughs> Sorry, my unicorn fell over. <laughs> like, literally, that comment just, just literally made my unicorn fall over. I think my unicorn wants to say hello. Say hello, sweetheart. Hi, everyone. And he's not alone. He has a, he has a counterpart. Of course. Shankar. Right. This oracle brings guidance. You are going to be moved by love. Whether it is long term or fast and furious, it is love and it has meaning. Let it be what it is and do not try to force it to become what you think it must be. It has worth, as do you. Enjoy the experience and know it serves your growth. Two energy patterns came together. A shared frequency in a field of possibilities. And there was resonance. I mean, how magical was that? How actually magical was that? Not being funny, but my life is very, very magical. And things that I experience being on this twin soul journey are very, very fantastical. And they are unbelievable. When I tell people, I'm sure they're thinking I'm a complete nutter and I'm lying and exaggerating. And it is the freaking exact truth about, and that is my life. And I'm just glad we all got to witness that. Like, that's it, you know. Like, everything that we're talking about is, we, we just read it in this card, you know. I've got about 50 decks of cards, and, and I haven't worked with this, this deck for so long. And Spirit was like, so clear, they were like, work the journey of love. Whew, right, so, so this is very confirmative. So, you know, obviously, the more the Divine Feminine needs to focus on herself. She needs to focus on what gives her joy, what gives her passion, what makes her juices flow, what makes her want to jump out of bed in the morning and go on absolutely amazing adventures. As the Divine Feminine focuses on herself, she intensifies her magnetism and her fragrance to her perfect divine counterpart and only to her perfect divine counterpart and vice versa, obviously. So this is how it works. This is how it works, brothers and sisters, that we focus on our, 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 get our own juices flowing and like really, really start finding your joy, finding those connections, finding those friendships, finding those beautiful children, family members, going on your healing journey, going on shamanic journeys, d doing retreats, you know, all of this. This is, what, what, what is it that's going to give you excitement and focus on that? You know, and this is a perfect opportunity for me to tell everyone about my amazing retreat. Manifest that. You know, people are listening to this and they're like, oh yeah, but I don't, I don't have this and I've got to get to a... You can manifest it. You can manifest it. You can manifest anything. It's really hard to manifest, you know, to get a ticket to Glastonbury Festival is quite a number. And yesterday I, I was like, I'm going to get a ticket to Glastonbury Festival. And two opportunities were like, no, you can't have a ticket. And I, and I didn't give up. I focused. I was like, I know I have a ticket to Glastonbury Festival. And within about half an hour, I aligned with another person. And I said to him, can I, can you get me a ticket? And he was like, yeah. And it was very, 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 very hard to get a ticket to Glastonbury. But what I'm saying is, it's like if you align with that vibration of knowing that it's going to happen, that there's no, don't, don't think about, don't worry about how. Um, do you know what I mean? This is how, um, this is how everything comes to us. It's like we don't have to do anything. We just have to be that frequency. We just have to be that frequency. And um, so, yeah. That's it, and, and, and I hope, oh yeah, what was I gonna say about, oh yeah, so that's what I was gonna say about manifesting. So if you're listening to this and you'll be like, yeah, but Jen, I can't, I haven't got this, that and the other, you can align with it. Jesus, we live in the most 
miraculously magical universe and if you stand up and command and say this is what I'm doing this is where I'm going the universe is like oh my god okay and then something will happen and that is how this this universe uh, oh, rocks and rolls you know and it's amazing so I have 10 places left on my Avalon retreat and I'm going to be doing a Shekinah Ashram which is a profound profoundly powerful spiritual pilgrimage point in Glastonbury at the bottom of Chalice Hill and I shall be making a video to show everyone the absolutely exquisite beauty of Shekinah Ashram and it's like a full temple, activated temple where they do puja every day and beautiful amazing accommodation and there's um, all, all vegan meals, organic meals, um, yeah so so come to Glastonbury like that you can get excited about that like come to Avalon, come to the sacred sites of Avalon like whoever's out there like come on guys like come and meet me do you know what I mean Every, like, everyone's always writing saying we'd love to meet you well this is an amazing opportunity to come and meet me you know so this is what it's about what is it that gives you excitement I'm doing a yoga teacher training that really excites me I'm going to share more kirtan at my at my uh, retreat and I'm probably going to share yoga like a bit of yoga as well there's going to be a lot of very 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 deep healing taking place and a lot of magic and just really just being together in that in that super super high consciousness and allowing the the natural metamorphosis to take place so I'm really really hoping um you know that whoever watches this video like come like manifest it manifest it um to come to Glastonbury and if you're interested please just send me a, drop me a little message and I'll, and I'll give you information uh, about the different options that are available you know if you want to come so uh, the message of this card is like focus on that what is it that's going to excite you and and the more that you do that the more that you intensify your fragrance your divine counterpart he's going to be like or she's going to be like searching for you do you know what I'm saying so that is the message um, brothers and sisters and um, okay I'm going to pull one more angel card which is this is like the the sort of like the culmination angel card for this reading spontaneity it's all going to happen very quickly it's going to happen very very spontaneously the more you can take your focus off it like the more it's just going to come like it's just going to happen like out of the blue around the corner you weren't looking you weren't expecting everything is going to happen spontaneously if you really really make that u-turn and focus back on yourself divine feminines and really really set your boundaries and focus on that which gives you joy and, and, and pleasure and passion everything that you've been praying for is going to come to you very very spontaneously and very very quickly so don't you worry about that Every, it's all good time time now to remember that our brain our, our imagination is the most powerful tool that we have at our disposal and that it's very important that we make a commitment to only use the power of our imagination to focus on that which we wish to manifest and not use the sacred power of our imagination to focus on fears and worries and that which we definitely don't want to manifest but it takes commitment it takes discipline so everyone's being invited right now to make that commitment and discipline to um, use your the power of your imagination to draw that which you are praying for towards you you know and uh, th this is what these energies are massively supporting Oi, what do you mean how do you respond to something like that oye I can't even say that Oi, what does that mean I would love to know if I'm really with my flame yeah, so, so that's really beautiful. Spontaneity. There we go. So how do you know if you're with your, your, your true twin flame? I guess how you know, really, is that... Because, see, most people, it's very rare. Most people think they're with a twin and it's actually like a karmic or, or a catalyst or it's not a twin. And so... In a lot of these people that think they're in twin flame relationships, there's a lot of drama, there's a lot of blocking. In my experience, your true, true twin soul connections, there's just like, there's just like, just needing to be with each other, just wanting to be with, with each other all the time, 24 seven, like having that, holding that person as so precious, like, like their happiness to you is, is probably more important to you than your own happiness to yourself like like you you don't you don't really you don't really want anything from them you want them to be happy you want them to be well you want them to be thriving 
that's that's a good way to know if there's you know a lot of a lot of in true genuine twin flame relationships there's, there's not a huge amount of drama really and you know and but it is still quite rare but it's all going to shift in 2019 a lot of genuine genuine twin soul connections and a lot of people have been you know with, with their catalysts and, and it's all perfect it's all it's the catalyst like my spirit team showed me and they showed me it really made me cry they were like you know, had I not met my catalyst twin when I was uh, 21 years of age at the top of the Himalayan mountain, my his impact on me was so powerful that that it, it initiated my own Kundalini awakening. And in my Kundalini awakening, like it was like my the garden of my heart prior to that was 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 a frozen like mess, you know. And there's and and, and my twin, my catalyst twin, meeting him was like was like a cosmic gardener that 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 activated the defrozing process the defreezing process and started pulling out all of those programming and all of those weeds to 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 clear my garden and cr and create that space in my garden for the seed of true love which is 100 percent destiny in this lifetime so i personally have a lot of love and respect and honorance for the, for the catalyst um, relationships, I, I think they're very, very, very important, and I would not be where I am or who I am without it. I like, yeah. So I just wanted to say that. Um, but gen, gen, genuine, like, if you want to know if you're really with your twin, you just want that person to be happy. Like, their happiness to you is the most precious, precious, precious commodity or, 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 or possession or whatever that you could ever, ever hold in this life is their happiness. That they are happy. And if you feel that for your beloved, probably your twin, if you feel worried or, or insecure or doubtful or questioning or then a lot of drama or game playing, very, I don't really, not, that's not a twin. That's not a twin. So, so there we go, brothers and sisters. There's a little low down. My, my camera's constantly on an angle. Oh, well. So, yeah, um... Now, I'm just wondering if there's any more cards. I'm going to just pull one more card now about the Solar Flash event. I feel like a card wants to come out about the Solar Flash event. Um, a message wants to come out about that. So I'm just going to, like, pull a card. So what, what would our spiritual galactic team like to say to us about the event? So ironic, look, solitude. <laughs> Lol. I exist to love my beloved, you know when you know. That's so beautiful. But Buttercup, are you the one that's booked a session with me? Because you it was best buttercup. There can't be that many buttercups. It's okay, so we pulled solitude. So yeah, I I, I So I just want to say another thing as well. I don't know if anyone's noticed, but like there's a lot of big shifts going on energetically, like particularly like as we approach March. And um, I, I'm I'm being shown that through my own physiology and what's going on with, like with my own hormones, which are very, very, very normally very stable, very consistent. But when big energies are coming in, then this uh, is communicated to my hormonal system, which is showing me that shifts, changes are are incoming. And this only ever happens when there's big, big, massive uh, shifts that are going on within the collective consciousness. And so I really, really, really massively feel and know deeply that something is, is going down in this march. And I feel that there, there's a little bit of an energy of calm before the storm because something, I don't know what, I don't know what, I, I, I know that for many there's going to be many twin soul recognitions. There's going to be many, many, many big celebrations going on with a lot of recognitions. Um, so, but what I feel the energy of this card is saying to us, like, for now, like, there's going to be a big shift you know that, that 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 is coming and i feel that we're being guided to um cut cut away any sort of like um relationships that are draining or anything like that and to prioritize like meditation going on walks being in water being with very 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 high vibing friends going to like retreats meditation groups yoga do, like do you know what i mean like focusing our energies on on our own healing sort of thing and as we do that um i think that that will really really support us as these new energies come in 
Yeah, that's what I feel. Like there, there, there's something going down. Um, I know there's a huge wave of unions that are coming in, incoming in, in March. Um, who knows what's going to happen? I think there might be some sort of disclosure. That's what I'm putting out for. That's what I'm sort of like, I'm feeling there's going to be some sort of disclosure. That's what I'm going to say. So I'll pull a... Uh, oh, I'm hearing something about media. Media disclosure. Some, some disclosure about the media. Commitment. Yeah, so, 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 so pull the card commitment. And this is just encouraging everyone that's watching this video to really make a commitment to your spiritual practice and whatever that is, whether that's like meditation or resting as awareness for short moments or yoga or practicing gratitude or whatever. Like, like really, really commit to that now. And, um, and I feel that, yeah, there's like this energy of, of like sort of like a boat needs to anchor like I feel like there's a kind of like storms are coming so you need to just like anchor now that's the energy I'm getting you know in a good way in a good way like we can we were born for these storms and we're just like solid solid lighthouses you know like we were born to for this role you know so that's what I feel that the energy of this card is about it's about really really stop searching outside yourself there's, there's no guru there's no teacher like you are it you are the Christ being you are the divine Christ being you have every single thing within you and your higher self your your super consciousness is going to guide you to all the guides all the meditations every all the groups whatever it is that's going to serve you you have nothing to worry about so I think that's the message of the card, of the card, brothers and sisters. Um, has anyone got anything to say? I'm going to put this on YouTube. So yeah, this is all really massively connected to the energies of the three-three, and um, I'm so excited to be joining with you all. We're going to be focusing on basically, like you know, there's this there's this fear agenda about. I don't believe that there even is an actual timeline for 5G yet, yeah? and I'm not prepared to give my energy to that. But what we're going to be actually focusing on is the 5D free energy grid. So we are being called to come together by our galactic teams to work with great, 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 great benevolent forces in the universe to anchor very, very swiftly these 5D free energy grids that are, that are going to override. You won't need no 5G, you won't need no like 4G, 3G um, wires anymore. Like it's all our birthright, you know, and it's, it's Tesla, um, Tesla energy. And, you know, so that's what we're being called to work with. Very, very important that we come together and and it's open to donations and no one's ever turned away. No matter on, under any circumstances, nobody's ever, ever, ever turned away. And it's very, very life changing. So hoping to see as many of you on the um, on the 3-3, which takes place at 11 minutes past seven on Sunday, uh, this Sunday. And um, what else are we doing? We're doing that. And um, I can't remember the other main thing that we're doing. Working with the grid. Oh, we're doing the Christ seal. That's it. We're working with the number 33, which is a master number. Yeah, we're going to be working with our galactics. I'm not going to give away too much information. I've got a feeling that the Arcturians are going to be doing, like, you know, they, they like to get involved when big shifts are happening. Have you noticed that, guys? Like, the Arcturians like to, whoop, step forward, you know, like to assist in these in these big shifts. So I believe we're going to be working with the Arcturians um, to, because uh, they love us. They love us so much. They really, really do. Yeah, they, they do. And this is so amazing working with them. So, so that's really exciting. And just working with this Christ oil and just setting these templates within within these new earth grids so that all of our brothers and sisters can can activate these trails to to access their own christ oil secretions like that's what we're doing like we're trailblazers we're sort of like leaving energetic crumbs or and, and setting templates so that everybody can tune into that do you know what i mean it's hard to explain but it's a massive work guys so i really look forward to seeing you and anyway, I think that is my message. Uh, it's been really, really lovely being with you all. And I'm going to put this on. Um, I'm going to put this on YouTube right now. And um, so yeah, so love you all. Thank you so much for being here. And I'm so excited to see you all on um, 
on Sunday and who's going to manifest coming to Avalon, the, the heart chakra of the planet, to hang out with me and do absolutely amazing things like play music, eat amazing food, do yoga, go on deep, deep twin soul activation, transformational journeys, go to the sacred sites, work with the Magdalene energies, go to the Magdalene uh, chapel on Magdalene Street, all of it. Who's coming? Love you all. Namaste.